today I'm going to be doing a review on Jeffree Star Cosmetics Skin Frosts. So these were re fucking ridiculous to get your get my hands on. Um, I was able to order one from the website which was mint condition and everything else was sold out like immediately the second it went live. So I picked up King's Hut on eBay, it was broken, I reset it, it's ready to go so here I am to bring you a review. Now before I get into the details of this product, here are some swatches. So as you see, these swatch super luminous, super sheen look, very easy to layer on as you saw in my hand, and also very easy to sheer out like you saw on the cheek. Now Gold King Tut is a more conventional shade. I feel like a lot of people would gravitate towards this shade because of its golden sheen. If you apply this wet, you get that super, super glow. And if you apply this dry, you can definitely have that soft look. So this can go from day to night, simple to glamorous, very easily. As for mint condition, this is a little bit less of a traditional shade, and I can see how some people would be off put by it. Now, I've done a review on a green highlight before, and I think you guys should check it out because I give a lot of details in that video. I'll leave a link below. But my take on the green highlight is that, think about color correcting. We put colors on our face, like green, yellow, purple, and they work because they help to correct different issues on our skin. And I feel like that applies when it comes to highlights. So if you're taking a green highlight and putting it over your cheek, would it not then work for some way? I mean, think about it. If you're using green to like correct redness and you have naturally rosy cheeks and you put green on top of it, you get a perfect kind of like whitish sheen because I'm wearing it here on my cheek. So it kind of evens everything out. That's my take on it. Of course, if you use a heavy hand or you apply the sweat, you're gonna wind up with gremlin cheek. Do you want gremlin cheek? I don't know, that's up to you and your preference. But this is a large size, so you're like, well, maybe I'm not gonna use a green highlighter every day. Maybe not, but the good thing about this product is if you apply it wet, just like with King Tut, and I was saying you get that super, super, um, you can get that super luminous look, you can get that and use it on your eyes. So when you apply this wet, you get a really nice green shimmer look, which is perfect for spring. Now I'm gonna show you guys real quick, cause that's the one thing I left out of the live swatches, is applying this wet as an eyeshadow. So here we go, I have a flat, dense brush. I'm gonna spray this up with some Fix Plus. Let me dip it right in. So those of you looking for a nice shimmery mint eyeshadow, there it is, right there. So perfect. Put a little bit of, um, put a little bit of like iridescent glitter on top, and bam, super fun spring summer look. Also good for like when the holidays come around. Really nice. So there's what it would look like as an eyeshadow. And like I said, I've, and I've seen a lot of people review like, oh my god, it's so huge, it's like the size of my hand. It is a very large highlight. But if you are the kind of person that's going to be illuminating your face daily, um, this is great. Especially if you find a favorite color, you don't have to worry about picking it up again because you get so much of the product. Now these are $29 each. So another good thing about this hot skin frost is that it didn't accentuate my pores. Some highlights, even though I don't have big pores or anything and they're usually not a problem for me, some highlights just make me look like I've got poor city over here. These. These were good. They didn't show my pores. They didn't make my skin look powdery. I liked the overall application on them. They were smooth. They almost had like kind of like a moist 
feeling to them. I didn't have to worry about this product going everywhere. I didn't have to worry about migration. It was those little details that I could appreciate from this product that even if it wasn't Jeffree Star, even if it was just a highlight, I would be happy to buy it because of that quality and $29 for the size is just great. Um, I've paid more for other highlighters that were much smaller. So for price point, quality, substance, it's all good. So guys, were you able to get your hands on the Jeffree Star Skin Froth? Let me know if you did, let me know what shades. If you weren't, let me know what shades you're interested in getting and what shades you're hoping for restock for. As always guys, thank you so much for watching and please be sure to follow me on Instagram, I'm Recycled Stardust.